factory again and here is the package that I showed in the last video. Let's quickly unbox and see what's inside of it, shall we? instructions on how to install the caliper bracket here it is the carpentry jumbo disc and it is it looks big this is kind of um, oily i don't know why Oil oil bora and the boss are I say let's just get right to work, take this wheel off. To undo this I will need a 24 mm wrench. Now I will need to take these Allen bolts out. Some of them are already loose, which is not a good thing. Well, that was easy. This is 280 mm. This is 320 mm. Put some thread logger on them and install this disc basically. couple things are different since you since you guys last saw this motorcycle first I have turned these rear shockers upside down I put the indi bar end indicators over here instead instead of here there is a fog lamp a single fog lamp installed we'll talk about this later as well because this video is about this Carberry jumbo disc. Let's talk more about it while riding. I do have some errands to run. So the company that makes this jumbo disc is exactly the company that makes the V twin engine, the V twin Royal Enfield engine. I'm sure a lot of you already know about it. They also released a pretty famous product called the Carberry Vibration Reduction Plate. 
which is also installed in this motorcycle and a couple other accessories including the jumbo disc so this is really a comprehensive review i will be coming out with one once i have done at least 500 or uh, let's say a thousand kilometers because by then this disc will show its complete potential till now i have done around 120 130 kilometers and i can feel at least 30 to 40 percent better braking like as soon as i pull in the brake the front brake i can feel the motorcycle trying to stop this didn't happen with the stock one i had to pull it in a lot more than i have to now i think the braking on this will get better as i ride more and break in the disc and it's basic physics that a larger uh, front disc will have more stopping power i think most of the motorcycle stopping is is to do with the front brake i'd say 70 percent at least for me there are other factors like the disc pads which i had to install new by the way because when you install a new rotor disc pads also need to be changed there's the brake oil that matters or or get the tires obviously the brake caliper like this motorcycle came with a two piston caliper there are calipers with four pistons and more i guess i don't know and also more expensive motorcycles which come with twin discs and that is why premium motorcycles usually have great braking because there is no cost cutting done i did have one issue though so as you saw this disc came oiled i didn't clean it enough and installed it directly that oil did uh kind of glaze the new brake pads so i had to open everything up again and uh deglaze them using sandpaper and it's also recommended that you change the rotor bolts i didn't do that because it was a sunday and everything was closed but i did put in thread locker red thread locker so they won't really come loose again i will be talking about this more in detail in the next video i make on this product there's a 40 mm difference between this disc and the stock disc the stock one comes at 280 mm this one here is 320 mm i believe the new generation royal enfields the classic 350 meteor they have 300 mm front disc himalayan has a 300 mm disc up front so the braking is all right on them definitely better than what this one had as a stock motorcycle the interceptor gt650 they have 320 mm discs up front exactly this size and they have good braking they have braking that can be called braking <laughs> for the first time on a royal enfield and as i said there's a lot more factors like the brake pads the brake hose i came to a complete halt in just seconds and i only used the front brake no rear brake at all oh my god holy shit oh ho, ho. bhai sahab i have i have never had this front tire skid like that that front tire only skids when the ground is wet so you can assume how much the braking power has increased i think most premium bikes uh super bikes come with 320 mm discs but usually they come with twin discs because of how fast they can go for the speed this motorcycle can go up to this mod is just perfect i think only ducatis have a bigger disc than this one most ducatis come with a 330 mm disc by the way the price of this product is around 6000 rupees it is made out of a single piece the stock one is not i think not the quality is amazing there's not a single video on youtube showing this modification this one i'm making is the first one and now that i have installed this and done this modification a lot more people are going to be doing this as well i see this with so many things i've done people doing exactly the same modifications that i do and i'm totally fine with that please keep going keep playing around with your motorcycles and have fun doing it <laughs> yeah nice let's do this one as well Ah, one year ago. damn i almost forgot there is a weight difference between 
the stock and this disc that is around 800 grams I did go to a a shop a dukan and used their weight machine hopefully I'm not forgetting any other details even if I am uh, I will be coming out with another video dedicated to this product once I have done 500 or more kilometers yeah I think that's it uh, it's hot I'm thirsty so I'm thinking of just ending this video here thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it uh, I'll definitely see you in the next one have a nice day have an amazing amazing life um, yeah Peace.